Okay, so got a letter today from um, Peter Popoff. Yeah, I have not read. Well, I've read some of the letter just because I had to have a laugh. Um, came with, of course, a business reply because they want you to send him money. And a pink envelope that says, uh, basically, do not open until you read my letter. It says, Dear Jesus, I pray that Jamie will not open this just as you told me before she reads my anointed. I know you're watching her as she opens this. After she reads my anointed letter, when she opens this, let your eight angels watch over her and help her to answer this letter and obey just as you told us to. Yeah. Um. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to read you the letter. And we're going to do this together. Jamie, it was about 12 midnight. I was awakened, and it was almost like you were standing by me. The room we were in was filled with broken things. A broken phone. The spirit said, this means something. I saw a broken ring, a broken lock, a broken watch, a broken plate, a broken TV, broken eyeglasses. I can't reveal the eighth item until you read this letter. Wow. We both were looking through this window at something beautiful. It's all in the sealed envelope. Sealed envelope. But don't open it now. I've sold the pink envelope with a golden seal because inside are some things that will open up golden moments of blessing and mighty miracles. Whatever you do, do not. I repeat, do not open it now. The obedient shall eat the good of the land. And he's using Bible verses, of course, because that makes him seem biblical. Using Bible verses does not make you biblical. Um, inside the pink envelope is the number eight, and spiritually interpreted, it means new beginnings. And a special Deuteronomy 111 thousand fold bracelet. Also, according to 1 Corinthians 14 6, where Paul said, I should speak to you in the revelations and knowledge. There is also the revelation of eight things that God showed me. However, do not. Do not break this golden seal now. Find a quiet place to finish reading this prophetic utterance from God. If you have to go into your bedroom or bathroom and close the door, please do so. We've done that, but not for the purpose that he thinks we're doing it. Alright, let me get the letter up. Wow. Okay. I see through the spiritual insight God has anointed me with as his prophet. You and your loved ones, Jamie, are going to benefit greatly from the revelation inside the pink envelope sealed with the golden seal. I just want to point out right now that this is all a bunch of bunk. I don't believe this. And I think it's very stupid. And I think it's very wrong to do what he is doing. I'm, I'm not even going to finish reading this. Like, out loud at least. Um, oh, except for the bottom. The hair is standing up on the back of my neck as the Spirit anoints my eyes to see a date. And God said this date was ordained by Him, and it is a date with your destiny. As you continue on in what He established on that date, God's power will overcome all the bad things in your life. Over. Goody, the world is back. Oh, this talks about the eight things that He supposedly saw. February 1st. This date, Jamie, this date keeps come to, coming to me. February 1st. That's today. What do you know? Uh, do you feel something good is going to happen by this date next year? Well, no. <laughs> and I love this. Jamie, one thing I know is that that's the first day you contacted me. I would like to point out that I never contacted Peter Popoff or sent in for any of his stuff. It started coming one day and hasn't stopped since. Um. Basically, all of his stuff is all of these prophetic messages could apply to anybody right now. And it's kind of ticking me off. Okay, at the bottom, it, the um, eight things. Um, 
one since there's really no one you truly feel you were close friends with and who put you who you can put your total trust in that's not true life has not been completely kind to you okay there are some who have actually treated you unjustly duh you have tried to release yourself from worry and problems but you have not seen the results you would like yeah okay you have sought help from ministers, anointed people, etc., but they have not been able to help you as they as you thought they would. No, no, my pastor's actually pretty good at helping me. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> the problem is that the things you're wrestling with are more complicated than they seem to be. Oh, right. Your loved ones are being challenged again with financial problems. Who isn't? They have told you they have not told you they didn't want to worry you. No, I'm pretty sure my parents told me. <laughs> We're poor. <laughs> um, the spirit of black that keeps attacking your finances. I see a real battle with this. Perhaps it was Saturday or Sunday. The important thing is this two will change for the better soon. Okay. Whatever. <sighs> All right. And then I guess number seven is saying there's a person heavy on your heart. You were burdened about this person. So yeah, apparently I have a crush on somebody or something. I guess that's what that says. Uh, all right. All right. Go on to page three. Oh my God, there's a page three. <laughs> oh, sure enough. This page is like informational or something. Um... Okay, caution, spiritual warning, if for any reason you are not going to answer this prophetic letter within 48 hours, you must return the sealed envelope. It must not fall into the hands of an unbeliever. So basically, if you're not going to answer this prophetic le letter, then you're not a believer. That's bull. Uh, God spoke to me to pray over something special that I had to place inside the sealed envelope and you must use it as I tell you and then get it back to me in the morning or as soon as possible. Praise God for that word and he basically supposedly gives me a message that God has given to him to give to me. I'm not even going to read it because I know that it's not true and... I don't do blasphemy. Um, now let's open God's storehouse. So I guess that means I can open the pink envelope with the golden seal. Okay, gonna break that seal. Grr. Oh, okay. oh my gosh, it's more letter with blue underlining stuff. Is there anything else in here? Oh, yeah. A letter eight. It's made out of that recycled paper stuff. That's kind of creepy. And it has $1,000, 1000 $1,000, 1000 I don't know if you can see that, $1,000. And it's basically like those little paper gum chains, I guess. Oh my gosh, wow. So, we have a recycled paper, letter 8. He's recycling, how nice of him. And this paper bracelet. Um, oh, and look, this is where he asks us for money. Um, uh, I sense you and your loved ones need a quick touch. In Jesus' name, check below and let me know what you and your loved ones need. I am to pray over these special needs. When I pray, I am to hold God's ring of your covenant rights and then get it to you along with a special prayer God will give me at that time. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Basically, I write down my needs. I need a car. <laughs> okay. I pray that this prayer will unlock the principles of increase in your life. I'm not going to pray that. I just... Okay, anyway, I'll rant later after I get done with this. Um, this Rama word. 
Don't look at me. I don't know what it means. Came to me for you. Um, I'll rush the ring of your covenant rights. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait. Where's the part where you ask for money? Now celebrate and put into action God's principles for supernatural increase. Return your seed gift. Seed gift? What's my seed gift? Is that the money? Fold it inside this letter. Get the bracelet back to me and make sure you check your needs above. Don't let Satan talk you out of sowing this $28 seed of new beginnings. I'll rush the ring of your covenant rights to you with godly instructions to shake loose all you need. Oy vey. I'm not going to send this back. And uh, I think it would be very sad if I didn't keep getting this stuff so that I could show you what a bunch of bunk it is that I am certainly not going to send back $28 seed gift. So here's the thing. Peter Popoff is a proven scam artist. He has been proven to be fake. It's obvious they have caught him and yet he's still out there doing this. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take this, this sticky gum chain bracelet. I want to know why he wants it back. Print your loved one's name on the Deuteronomy 111 1000 fold money bracelet. So this little sticky bracelet thing, it's kind of got like a sticky note thing to it. Yeah, this right in the middle. See, this is what I do to all the stuff because I don't think it deserves to be consecrated and saved. Yeah. And because I like tearing things up. We will keep, however, the letter A for, <laughs> let's call it, archive purposes. But the bracelet gets ripped up. Because a paper gum chain bracelet does not give you money. Thank you very much, Peter. Peter Popoff, do you see this? This is for you. You know, I should probably send it back to him like this. That's cruel. That's not very nice, is it? I'm sorry. That was mean. I am not. Well, sometimes I am. But anyway. So... We have our pink envelope with the broken seal because we read the letter and then we broke the seal. So we're gonna stick that in there. All of our little bracelet pieces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I look forward to my next little gift from Peter Popoff. Goodbye. <laughs>